Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and part of me that I've been missing so, so much. I've been really, really, really busy and I haven't had the time to talk to you guys. And if you hadn't noticed, I am kind of blonde right now. Blonde. It doesn't look like that in the camera, but like I, you know, changed my, my appearance. And it was just because of my birthday. <laughs> Uh, uh, I had my birthday last week and it was really really fun and I really enjoyed it a lot and really really want to thank everybody who took the time on Twitter and also took the time like on YouTube and stuff to send me my birthday wishes thank you so much I really really appreciate it um, either way I was you know last weekend i was just with my parents and with my boyfriend and we were just like which movie should we watch and we were just looking through the oscar nominations and i was just like well there's a movie that a lot of people are talking about and that's hot so rich and my dad was just like let's do it because my dad loves you know all the all you know action stuff and stuff like that <laughs> and my boyfriend as well so we, i was just like god i don't like uh you know war things and just get me really sad and i was just like well fine okay let's just watch the movie and just just get it over with um because either way i would have done like a movie review about this movie somehow before the oscars because it's a really really a great movie but either way it, it's it's based on a true story of Desmond T. Doss and he saved 75 men, literally saved 75 men uh, on the World War II and he's known la the war that was, you know, World War II was con it consisted of a lot of wars inside the World War II and one of them was in Okinawa and you know, it's during the bloodiest battle of the World War II as, as many people would know and he actually didn't have a weapon with him and he fought that battle without any any single weapon and he was like a medical um, guy who was just there with the guys but some medical uh, people uh, actually had guns just in case but he didn't want to have guns uh, he really was you know really confident about himself and about his beliefs and his beliefs sorry and he really was just like i i am not gonna kill anybody because that's not who i am and i really like that uh, about the movie because even though we are we are not having a battle right now um well at least here in mexico we are not having anything uh i mean you see a lot of this you know you know uh, kind of aspects in people like I am this way and you should respect me because I am that way uh, or you know I want to do this because I can and I wish to do this and blah 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 so I really like the aspect of that movie I really like that how the movie evolved because I was just at the, first, at the very beginning I first of all I love the 40s and the 50s and stuff um, I think it's a great era for me. I, I really like it. Even though you know you see the World War II and stuff, I really like how women dressed and how you know it was. A lot of people were full of you know really uh, aggravating emotions. So you see at the beginning of the movie how he is young and he has a brother and his brother you know they're they fight and stuff and after that he realizes like i can't harm anybody like i really need to take care of the people that i love and take care of my beliefs and stuff and because in some point or another he he got in a really really uh, bad fight with his brother when he was really little and he could actually like uh kill him yeah, so because he was just uh, uh, playing with a really hard, uh, I don't know how to say it in English, but um, like it's called ladrillo in Spanish, um, but it's like a really, really hard, some, with a lot of, um, I don't know how to say it, like a brick. So he was, you know, he threw that brick to his brother and, and he could actually kill his brother. So he was just like, no, I, I can't 
do this anymore and he fell in love as well with a woman that was uh, in the nursery and you know if you didn't know like I I first like I didn't know that it was Teresa Palmer because like her hair is changed and she looks really different because she's actually blonde but you know Andrew Garfield and Teresa really make a really cute couple to be honest so I really like that aspect of everything. Like I like I really like the casting. It was really really well done. Uh, I think I I you know after Andrew Garfield made Spider Man, I never thought that he could actually play these kind of roles. But he now really demonstrated me how he is really talented and how he actually knows how to act. Because to be honest, like. Um, this kind of movies is, I think, is really hard to act uh, due to a lot of special effects or due to a lot of emotions, and you get really, you, you need to get really into that character. And I, re I am really happy that he is nominated for an Oscar because he really deserves it. Uh, also, you know, we, we see Luke Bracy, Vince Vaughn, uh, Sam Worthington uh, on the cast, and I, I don't know if I'm, you know saying their names really good but to be honest like I really really as I've been saying like I really really love every single casting here I was not uh, you know um, really mad about anything I really was really happy about it so it was really really cool and you know he Andrew Garfield was uh, like really really I at some point in the movie I never thought I'd, I was watching Andrew Garfield the one that used to be Spider-Man, like it was just really emotional for me. Um, I got really nauseous in the movie, so if you're, if you wanna, you know, eat while you watch the movie, I do not recommend it. It's a really bloody movie uh, due to, uh, you know, the true story about it. It's the war is not something that is not bloody. Of course, there's blood and there's people dying, and you see a lot of wounds open and hearts just popping out and it's just like wow like I, I was really surprised how the makeup and you know the stunts and everything was really well done um, I also want to say that Mel Gibson it's a really really I, I think that he's a genius to be honest guys I, I, I never thought I could say this but he, I admire that guy I think he He's really, really talented, and I think he deserves that recognition. I do not know if he's if he he is gonna win best director. If I'm not mistaken, he is nominated for this, but I really hope he does because every single shot of the movie is just so well done. Like I I, I was talking with my boyfriend, and he was just like, "Oh my god, like that shot! Oh my god, that shot! Oh my god, that how!" I, and I was just like, "Yeah, exactly! Like that's how movies really need to be!" Like you you need to to think and say like how do they make this like it was just so good and as i've been saying like the cast is just really well done and really well like andrew garfield just portrayed so so good the character and at the end they they show you the clip of the actual people that were in the war and you really really want to cry because like a lot of people died here and it's just so great that we we it's kind of like a um, like a miracle that um, this uh, person uh, th talking about Desmond T. Doss uh, was in in here, and he really wanted to, you know, save people. And at the end, he says like he prayed and said to God, like and said to God, like please let me just save another guy, uh, and please just let me save another guy, please let me save another guy. And I was just like, how can anybody think like that like I like I would just cry like uh, seeing my probably my sibling there di dying or uh, my best friend there dying and for me it was just really emotional and I don't know how Mel Gibson just made the actors act so good well so well and you guys I don't, I don't know like seriously I really recommend this movie I think it's just like 10 out of 10 like seriously, I do not think that this movie is just a movie that you need to pass away and don't don't watch. Like I really need you guys to understand how amazing it is and 
you see like the realness of the world war like I, I was just so impressed by that like we see clips of you know uh, from people dying and it, it's something that really really happened and I I think that Mel Gibson really demonstrate how true the true life tale of the US Army and the US Army medic and really how how medics and every single person that it's you know training for a war and stuff it's important and I really under like I really really like got into the emotion about that because like it really gets me so much like I do not understand why battles go and just be like I don't understand that I seriously I'm a peacekeeper like um I never liked war since I was a little girl well nobody likes wars of course but like many people think that wars are just like political things but I really don't like I don't understand like why do people don't just get along and just like be you know and and I hate that I hate that we need to live in a world that was just so that is just so messed up and right now we are just like dealing with a lot of you know immigrant stuff and everything like that and I'm just just and I'm just so sad about it because it's just it's just not it's not like right like I just can't talk about that because like it gets me really really angry and you know here we see like an aspect of the war that I do not want to leave and nobody wants to leave that uh, so I will really, really you know encourage you guys to watch this movie and a lot of you guys were um, tweeting me about that Mel Gibson was gonna be um, the next Suicide Squad or was you know in on the talks of being the next Suicide Squad 2 director and to be honest I really want him to be the next one to be honest like David Ayer, like he could be the producer or anything, like he has a, a great image of the characters. I love that, the image of the Joker, the Mar Margot Robbie's character as well, and Katana's, and you know, I was just so impressed by the design of every single character of the Joker, Harley, Katana, um, Bella Davis, and every, every single one of them. But to be honest, like I do not think that he knows how to portray a story really well. Like I think he, he needs to have a great writer or you know a great director in this movie uh, and I don't think that he's the guy who's for this so I do think that Mel Gibson could give the aspect of you know a villain to every single thing of, about this uh, about Suicide Squad so I really do think that he's a great a great 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 director and I really hope that he's going to be the next Suicide Squad 2 director um, you know after watching this I was just so convinced so yeah <laughs> so so guys if you wanna if you want me to you know watch uh, any trailer or review any movie please comment down below and don't forget to follow me on my social media and please just click the bottom down here and just and the bell and everything for me to every time that I upload something you get notified by it and please don't forget to as I said like share and subscribe and I'll see you next time guys bye